This is Munich. In November of 1923, this is the city where Hitler and the Nazis attempted to overthrow the government. As a matter of fact, that failed attempt came to a grinding halt right about here. This is Landsberg Prison. It's not too far from Munich, and it's where Hitler served out less than a year of his five-year sentence. It's also where he wrote the book Mein Kampf, which means my struggle. Hitler was released early in December of 1924, and things went really south for Germany and Europe after that. This is the Fuhrer bunker in Berlin. This is where it all ended for Adolf Hitler. And this is what it looked like after the Soviets got finished with it. Even though the Fuhrer bunker was completely destroyed, there were a few historic pieces that managed to get out. Alright, so uh, I am at the Gettysburg Museum of History, and if you've seen any of the other videos that have been done from this place, uh, you know that this houses some of the most rare historic artifacts that you can find anywhere, uh, especially items related to the Second World War. Now, here also are things that are tied to the Third Reich. As we've mentioned in other videos, uh, this is not a, a celebration of the Third Reich or Hitler or, or what they stood for, uh, but rather these are pieces of history that we can learn from. And there are some pieces here that uh, are pretty historically significant artifacts that tie into the beginning and the end of Adolf Hitler. In the video we shot, War Trophies of the Third Reich, we touched on a few Hitler bunker items, and of, of, of all the Hitler artifacts, the, the ones from the bunker are of course the most rare. There's just not that many of them that survived. Um, what we have here is a really unique signed photograph that was signed by Adolf Hitler. And it was actually found in the bunker by a British journalist named William Forrest. But first, the history of this photograph. This photograph is a very early shot of Hitler. He's wearing a Nazi party badge in that photo. It was taken in the 1920s, um, but the, the most interesting factor besides the fact that it came out of the bunker is that it was signed at Landsberg. Now, Hitler was in jail in 1924. Um, and uh, this photo was signed on the anniversary of the failed Beer Hall Putsch. It's signed Landsberg, well, Adolf Hitler, Landsberg, November 9th, 1924. We don't know who had this photograph. We assume Hitler had it himself, but it may have been one of his inner circle. It followed him into the bunker and was found there by this British journalist named William Forrest, who was uh, a war correspondent that was a pretty famous correspondent. And he, was, he, he had gotten into the bunker and found this amongst some papers. Now, the bunker, after Hitler was, died, um, was trashed by the Russians. They broke the toilets and the plumbing down there. And if you see period photographs of the bunker, you will see there's you know, water on the ground, things broken, and this reflects that. I mean, it, it, it obviously must have been in a stack of paper somewhere, but it has a lot of damage to it, and it has some water spots. But it is just an amazing piece of history because of where it was signed, and then again, where it was found. Now, this particular piece has quite the provenance chain to it, and there have been several BBC articles uh, written about this photo and, you know, whenever it went up to auction and, and things like that. If you look at this letter, let me get it into focus. So, this is a letter from the war correspondent who originally acquired this photo out of Hitler's bunker, and it says, uh, to whom it may concern, throughout World War II, I was the chief war correspondent of the News Chronicle in the capacity 
I'm sorry, in that capacity, I went into Berlin and at the end of the war was, the, was with the first British troops. Uh, my reports from Berlin at that time can be seen in the files of the News Chronicle at the British Museum's newspaper library at Collendale, London. Uh, this signed photograph of Hitler was discovered by me in the ruins of the bunker and has been in my possession ever since. And then it is signed by him and you can see uh, where that was received. But, uh, wow. Another fascinating bunker-related artifact is this Mein Kampf, which is a 50th birthday edition, meaning Hitler's 50th birthday, which came out in 1939. And um, you can see right there, it's dated 1939. It's a deluxe edition of Mein Kampf. And the, what makes this a bunker artifact is it is signed by Hitler, and we have his signature here, Adolf Hitler, and it says Headquarters 23-3-1945. So what that means is March 23rd, 1945. So Hitler was in the bunker at that time. Headquarters, the Fuhrer bunker was their headquarters at that time. He signed it for a member of his personal bodyguard and it was taken out of there and um, uh, it's just, it's probably one of the last Hitler signatures in private hands. I mean, there's certainly things that he signed after this, but it's, it's interesting, you know, a, another factor of Hitler's signature for people who are interested in autographs is, is how his signature changed. You see a, a, a 1924 version and it also kind of matches that printed edition here. This is printed into the photo. This is the actual signature. And then it evolved into this. And when you look at his signature over the years, it's, it's interesting how much it changed. And again, anything from the bunker is extremely rare. And uh, to think this was signed, you know, just several weeks before he died, it's fascinating. All right, well, those are just uh, a few of the fascinating artifacts that are here uh, that, that really kind of connect to the, the rise and the eventual fall of Adolf Hitler. Uh, again, I, I know that most people get this, that, that we're not celebrating the, the ideology. Uh, rather, we are learning from the history, but not everybody gets that, so uh, we have to say things like that. But those are just a few of the items here at the Gettysburg Museum of History.